welcome back to Tactical Talk. So, I've been doing a lot of thinking, and I want to know what you guys think about this. So, I've done videos in the past about home defense weapons and why I choose, you know, pistols over shotguns or, you know, AR pistols or my TAC-14. I choose smaller things for home defense for a multitude of different reasons. So, if you guys want to check that out, Check out some of my old videos, and I'll explain in those videos why I chose, you know, smaller calibers and or smaller size weapons for home defense. Now, in this video, I've been doing a lot of thinking about rounds are moving really fast, they're really small, and they penetrate drywall, sometimes 2 by 4s and, you know, the insulation of a house very easily. Well... What about a Coke can? This is just a sparkling water. I'm trying not to drink a lot of soda so I don't have a big Coca-Cola or Dr. Pepper or nothing that stuff, but it's a Coke can. And I got to thinking, can I use a Coke can for home defense? Now, I know a lot of you were thinking, what the hell are you talking about? And I get that. I'm not expecting to come out of my room in the middle of the night, grab a Coke can, which would have to be full in order for it to have some kind of weight behind it, and then walk around my house with my hand up trying to find a threat and throw a Coke can at them. So what am I talking about? Well, for those of you who have not seen this, this is in some of my videos before I started doing the Tactical Talk segment. So I haven't really talked about this thing. It's just been sitting in my safe for a while. This is my X Products Can Cannon. If you don't know what this thing is, I highly recommend going on YouTube and searching can cannon. Some of my videos are on there as far as the build process. I bought a strip lower. I bought a parts kit. I bought the uh, pistol grip. I put this whole thing together myself. It works. This is an AR lower. They make these in different calibers for the uh, can cannon upper, but the one I have is just chambered in 556 or 223. This thing works by shooting blanks. So there's blanks in there. What happens is you attach this lower, or I'm sorry, this upper to any existing AR lower that you have with blanks. And then it has this little, it's not a barrel, but this little attachment that's capped off so that you can't fire an actual round out of this, which doesn't make this an SBR. And again, doesn't make this a barrel. But all of the gases, I keep dropping this, all of the gases escape out of the sides with this tube on there. A little threaded piece on the bottom and then big old wide tube on the top. The gases escape on the sides, pushing everything forward. So they don't have anywhere else to go. So when this thing is tightened up, that's what it looks like. This thing is meant to launch soda cans. Soda can fits down in there perfect. Now the only downside of this is you can't lean it forward or else that soda can is going to fall right out. The other cool thing is tennis balls fit in here perfect, um, racket balls, anything of that dimension you can put in here and pretty much launch out of this launcher is what it is. It's not even necessarily a weapon or at least the upper part isn't. If you guys have any questions about this, I did. I put a little bit of JB Weld on the front of that right there and it really doesn't look bad at all. Put some JB Weld down. And I put a little Magpul uh, Picatinny Rail strip on there. Let that sit. Taped it all up. Got it lined up. All that kind of stuff. Um, and then I put this little front sight adapter on there. And then on the back, I put this leaf sight. So, for those of you who fired a launcher before, you know you can't just necessarily aim straight unless you're at a very close distance. If you want this thing to go anywhere, you got to angle it just a little bit. So that it'll shoot up and then drop onto your target. It's kind of like playing that game Tanks in real life. It's really, really fun. But I got to thinking, if somebody got into my house and I had this. Now, this would not be ideal for a full home invasion type situation. But if somebody's in my house, it's not supposed to be. And I didn't necessarily want to shoot them, put a hole in them, penetrate the walls, hit somebody else in my house. I could put a Coke can in this, work my way down the hall. If I had a pistol on me, 
And this would definitely be, I'm using this term very lightly, non-lethal in hitting them, knocking them down or knocking them out could possibly be lethal. Everything that I looked at online said that that can comes out at almost 80 miles an hour. Could be lethal. When I go out and shoot this thing, I can launch a soda can about 100 to 105 yards if I angle it correctly. Full soda can, 100 yards. That's a whole football field. That thing is moving. What do you guys think of that? Can? I mean, I guess it can. I already know that. Should this be used as a home defense weapon? As a non-lethal option? Law enforcement uses bean bags. They use tasers. They use all these other things that could potentially be lethal, but are created as non-lethal weapons to help in different situations. Well, I've used this as a toy going out and shooting and having fun at the range. I think I might have found my, my next home defense weapon. I can shoot somebody with this thing in the house, knock them down, knock them out, and not necessarily have to worry about penetrating walls and that round of going through and hitting somebody because once this round hits a wall, well, this can hits a wall. If for whatever reason it makes it through that wall, it's not going to have nowhere near as much power. It won't generate that much power to get through the wall and then fatally injure somebody on the other side of that wall. So this might be my new go-to. What do you guys think about that? Here at the end of the video, I'm going to throw in some random video of us at the range. Us, you know, my, me, my nephew, stuff like that, whatever videos I can find of us shooting this cane cannon, having some fun. You guys can kind of get an idea of how loud this thing is, how strong this thing is. I mean, as soon as cans hit something, they just explode. But the force behind it is just amazing to me. Let me know what you guys think of this. I'm also thinking about doing a giveaway with one of these. I know I've been talking about a lot of giveaways and I bring the word giveaway up a lot. That's not the only reason I want you guys to watch my channel, but I do want to tell you guys, thank you for watching my channel. A lot of you guys have been with my channel for a while now. You've watched my channel grow into, I mean, something amazing for me. I've had people reach out wanting to do collaborations, wanting to do videos, sponsorships, that kind of stuff. And we're finally turning into something, I would say, legit. So I want to tell you guys, thank you for that. And I want to keep giving back to you for supporting me. So these uppers are about $200. We've still got some time to go. It's not going to be right now. It may not even be this month or next month. But comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of, do you guys want a can cannon? It's really not that expensive, and I think that would be a really cool giveaway. I'm assuming that most of my viewers already have ARs, because it's a very common platform. And you can just attach it to your AR, go out and have fun, shoot tennis balls, shoot Coke cans, or really anything that you can shove down this tube. So how do you guys feel about this being a non-lethal option for home defense? And how do you guys feel about this being in a giveaway? Very simple, very easy. More stuff is coming on this channel. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.